blessed day to all. Welcome to my channel, Math with Mrs. O. I'm Ophelia Orate, principal owner of a school and core concepts tutorial center, a math teacher and an author of 21 math books. Today, we're going to have college entrance exam review, which will help you for your UPCAT, ASET, PUPSET, DLSU set, USTEP, and all other college entrance exam. Please smash the subscribe button and hit the bell button. Okay. Problem number one. Ano ang suma ng mga factor na prime ng 210? As I told you in my previous video, there uh, were problems in mathematics which were written in Filipino language in the previous years in UPCA in UP. So, for you to be able to use this review for your other entrance exams in the other schools, I will translate each of the problems in English. Okay, so translation, what is the sum? What is the sum of the factors or the prime factors of 210? There, so we get the prime factors. Factor 3, 210 is equal to 21 times 10. But 21 is not prime because it, uh, it has other factors like 7 and 3, 5 and 2. And then stop. Are these all prime? Yes. What is a prime number again? A number which has no other factors than itself and 1. So this is prime, this is prime, prime, prime. So you just add all of this. 7 plus 3 is 10. 10 plus 5 is 15. 15 plus 2 is 17. Add them all, you get 17. The correct answer is letter D. Okay, problem number 2. Si Alex ay P na taong gulang noong nakalipas na Q taon. Yan. So, so, in English, Alex is P years old, Q years ago. So, we have here Q years ago, Alex was P. Magiging ilang taon na siya matapos ang S na taon. So, now, let's get his age now, and his age S years from now. Magiging ilang na taon na siya matapos ang S years. How old will he be S years from now? Okay, so let's repeat. Alex was P Q years ago here. Q years ago, he was P. Therefore, now, he is P plus Q. Remember, Q years ago, he was P. So, now, he is P plus Q. S years from now, so, you will have add S to now. This is now, and then S years from now. So, the correct answer is P plus Q plus S, letter A. Problem number three. Ibinigay. X equals 0 0.3, Y equals 0 0.03, Z equals 0 0.003. Alin ang may pinakamataas na halaga? Letter A. X, Y. So, letter A, you will multiply X. X, Y is 0 0.3 times y 0 0.03 you take a shortcut 3 times 3 is 9 count the number of decimal places 1, 2, 3 1, 2, 3 repeat 1, 2, 3 0 0 0.009 so you observe that when you're multiplying decimals the answer is small it becomes small okay what we need here, alin ang may pinakamataas na halaga which has the 
largest value. So, itong multiplication natin, A, A, and D will already be out. Because when you're multiplying decimals, you're, see, you're, you are counting the decimal places, you're, so you are making the value small. So, we will not try D anymore. Okay, let us now try B and C. B is X over Z. X is 0 0.3 over Z is 0 0.003. Let me check 0 0.3 over 0 0.003. Yes, oh. So how do you do that? 1, 2, 3. So this becomes 3. Move the decimal point 3 places. You also do it here. 1, 2, 3. So this becomes 300 over 3 is 100. Ooh. Letter C. Y over Z. Y is 0 0.03 there. Over Z. Z is 0 0.003. Oh, make this a whole number. Move 1, 2, 3. We move it 3 places to the right. So you also move this 1, 2, 3. Three places to the to the right, you you have thirty over three is ten. So the correct answer is B. B. There. Problem number four. Ibinigay given. Two x minus y all over x plus four y plus one third. Ano ang ratio ng x sa y? In English, given. 2x minus y over x plus 4y equals 1 third. What is the ratio of x to y? Question mark there. Okay, now you can take a shortcut here, cross multiply. So 2x minus y all over x plus 4y equals 1 over 3. Yeah, multiply this with that. So you have here 3 quantity 2x minus y equals x plus 4y now distribute so that's 6x minus 3y equals x plus 4y then combine all the x's on one side 6x minus x this one goes there so it becomes minus 4y transpose negative 3y here it becomes plus 3y so you have here 5x equals 7y then stop many of you might be tempted to solve for x first and then solve for y and then substitute x and y no you don't do that there is a shortcut to this so you copy x to y oh, there which is unknown and then you cross this here. When you cross it here, what is the number here for you to get 5x? 5. 5 times x is 5x. What should be the number here for you to get 7y? It's 7. So the answer is x over y is 7 over 5. Letter B. Problem number 5. A minus B equals 8. A squared minus B squared equals 16. What is A plus B? Now, take note that A squared minus B squared equals 16 is factorable as a difference of two squares. So you factor this. What do you get? You learn that it can be factored as a plus B times A minus B equals 16. Remember that we're looking for A plus B, which is this. So, retain A plus B. And A minus B there is equal to 8. So, substitute 8 here for A minus B equals 16. Then, you solve for A plus B. So, A plus B equals, you just divide both sides by 8, isn't it? So that you can cancel this. So, A plus B equals 16 divided by 8 is 2. So, A plus B is equal to 2. So, the correct answer is letter B. 
Problem number six. Arlene answered 40 questions in an hour. Bob answered 30 questions in one hour. How many questions did Arlene answer if Bob finished 45 questions? If you're given problems like this, you, you use ratio and proportion. So Arlene, so let's write here, Arlene answered 40 questions in one hour. Bob, so B is for Bob, answered 30 questions. So the ratio is 40 over 30. You can just cancel this so, you, so it will be easier. This is 4 over 3. How many questions did Arlene answer? So Arlene is for A. We let this questions that Arlene answered be A. If Bob answered, finished 45 questions. Did you get that? The numerators are for Arlene. The denominators are for Bob. Oh, if you're answering questions like this, you just have to cross multiply that. Take a shortcut. So you get 4 times 45 divided by 3 gives you A. There. Then don't multiply 45 and 4. That will take a long time. You just have to cancel. 45 divided by 3 is 15. Oh, 3 divided by 3 is 1. 15 times 4. 15 times 4. 20 carry 2. That's 60. There, over 1 is A, so A is equal to 60. So the correct answer is letter A. There, we're done with part 6. Thank you for watching. Always remember to add kindness, subtract judgment, multiply understanding equals Mrs. O's good life equation. Subscribe now, smash it, and hit the bell button. Thank you.